Hello, this is a short video showing some of the new features of the Tenor Tester from firmware version 3.5 onwards. Okay, we have the main screen here. We give it a choice of sweeper, generator or calibrate. Double click to go into our option, which is sweeper. We have the start frequency, stop frequency. Press once to move the cursor to whichever one you wish to increase or decrease hold down the button to go fast either up or down or just a single click right double click this button here to start sweeping okay this line the blue line shows forward red line shows reflected the yellow line shows SWR. When it's finished its sweep, it tells you the best SWR at the first frequency that it finds. So that's the very first frequency it will report. Okay, so the sweeper screen is pretty easy to, to use. Hold the button to go back to main menu. Calibrate, uh, sorry, generator screen. Move the cursor down, double click, brings you into the screen and here we have the RF generator. If you've seen the other video you probably know all the features of this anyway but just to recap increase frequency, decrease frequency. At the moment the generator is turned off. Okay our drive level is set to 4 milliamp but a new feature with version 3.5 firmware is it's now automatically reading any RF power on the RF port. We've got an analyzer set up here. What we'll do is we'll turn the RF power on and we can see we've got a reading. So if we just zoom back a bit, we can adjust our power, increase our power. The range is from about minus 15 to about just under 3 dBm. Okay. And we can see there we go. The tenor tester doesn't measure in dBm though. It measures in an ADC value. This is actually the ADC voltage that the microprocessor in the tenor tester is measuring on the RF port. It is not a linear scale because the way the tenor tester was designed. It wasn't designed as an RF power meter. It was designed as a simple, a very simple SWR analyzer. We then added RF generator and we've now added RF power meter. So those are all features added at a later date. This is why the tenor tester won't ever report a proper dBm value here. And it won't ever report anything other than a milliamp value for the RF output power because the port was not designed for that initially. These are all features just added to make it more handy for the general amateur use. Alright, so as soon as we start generating power Another great feature of the Tenor Tester was its ability to show SWR. As we change frequency, it will report SWR. In this instance, it's actually measuring SWR of my analyzer, the lead on the analyzer. Um, but I am generating power at the same time, so that's probably going to throw it out of whack. Oh yeah, it is, and look at that, we're down to 2 point something already. So we get up, you can see as I move, change the frequency, the SWR changes. This is very handy feature for trimming and tuning antennas. You have the antenna at the end of it. As you trim the antenna, the SWR will adjust. If the circuit's that sensitive. If I hold this cable, you'll see the SWR is moving. So you'll get the same effect on any antenna. As we all know, a human changes the SWR or human impedance on the S changes the impedance of the antenna. So it's a very sensitive little tool, a very handy little tool. All right. To turn, to turn the uh, RF generator off, we just double click again, it turns off. Hold this button, and you can see at the top it says it's going to the menu when you, when you release. The last feature is a calibrate feature. Okay, we move down to calibrate, double click to go into that screen. So, if I generate a signal at 75 megahertz exactly, we can use a, a, a frequency counter connected up to the port, turn the generator on and adjust this value here to we're reading exactly 75 megahertz. 
We can change this to any number we want. You might have a, uh, you might have an oscilloscope, have a 10 megahertz reference oscillator, and use Lissajous figures to get a perfect circle. Then you know that if this is generating 10 megs, your signal generator is generating generating 10 megs, and you have a perfect circle on your oscilloscope. Well, it's calibrated, and you adjust this number here just by using the minus and plus button. When you finish calibrating. Press and hold to bring back to the main menu. At the main menu, press and hold, and you can see saving come up. Release it. Tenor Tester saves the settings and reboots. Now, it saves a few settings. On the sweeper screen, it saves start stop frequencies. On the generator screen, it will save whatever frequency you've set the generator to whatever power level you set it to and of course on the calibration screen it will also save the calibration factor you've set. So there you have it, Tenor Tester. Now if you have an older version of Tenor Tester, an older version with less than 3.5 don't worry you have the details, you know where the website is if you've bought it off me go to that website there's details on how to upload to the latest firmware Okay, thanks for watching the video. Have fun with your tenor tester. Cheers.